What's up guys, Gavin here, and in this video, I'm gonna go over an important question that a lot of you guys have had, which is how do you change your life? A lot of you guys wanna start businesses, start new ventures, create a new life for your, or yourself, live wherever you want, but here's the thing, to change, to change your life, to change the things around you, to change your circumstances, you have to change. And the number one place that you have to start is you have to change the way you think. You have to change the cause and then the effect is gonna happen automatically. So that's what we're gonna do in this video, just here in beautiful Uluwatu. Show you a little bit around for a second. We'll be right back to start the video, let's go. All right guys, so let's get into how to change the way we think. Because again, when we change the way we think, we change the cause and then the effect is automatic. Here's what I love about the universe that we find ourselves. Uh, it's built on very specific laws. So you have the law of gravity. You know if you are holding something in your hand and you let, let it go, it's gonna fall down. It's, it's pretty cool to know that that's just gonna happen every single time. Because then you can start to figure out all these different laws of the universe and you can start to align with them and not fight against them. So a lot of people will complain about their circumstances, will complain about their life, will complain about why things are always happening to me, why are these bad things always happening? They rarely ever look at the cause, which is usually themselves. So usually a lot of the negative circumstances that are happening in their lives are because of the way they think, act, and behave and that's causing them to get the results that they're getting because the universe is built off specific laws. Just think about it, if you go to McDonald's every single day, three times a day, you don't exercise, you can pretty much guarantee the results are gonna be you being unhealthy, getting sick, probably overweight, lethargic, depressed. It's pretty obvious what's gonna happen. It's also fairly obvious that if you were to meditate every day, you know, do some yoga, exercise, eat healthy foods that are really good for your body and fuel your body and think positive thoughts, you're probably gonna have a positive, happy life. You know, these are polar opposite things that are most of the time, 99% of the time, gonna give people the thing that they want. That's the one thing that I love about the universe. Now, there are so many of these laws that we can study and there are so many psychological laws and so much understanding that we can get of ourselves and of the world around us to navigate, to kind of get an owner's manual of how to navigate through this world. And I really think that that is like unbelievable. One of the big things to understand in this world is if we are just using our default setting or what society has programmed us to think, based off of what they think, based off of metaphors and stories and analogies passed down from generation to generation. If you look around, you know, you'll see about 80 to 90% of people not that happy, not wealthy, not having the life they want, working jobs they don't like, doing things that they don't really like doing that much, and they're just not optimized at their higher self. They're not activated through that, like that beingness that they want to be. If they were to look at their lives and ask themselves, are they activating it or operating at their highest level, most people would say no, they're, they're not. And most people, if you look at them, that's pretty obvious. So one of the things that I like to look at in life is how can I decode this reality, you know, see how the world kind of works, how these laws of physics work, and then align myself with those, then start to ask myself, how have we evolutionarily adapted to you know, operate within this environment, and how can we kind of hack those things? And one of the mindsets that I really like to think about is how can we sharpen the ax? So I think it was Abraham Lincoln who said, if I had 60 minutes to chop, chop down a tree, I'm gonna spend the first 40 minutes sharpening the ax. The first 40 minutes, I'm just gonna sharpen the ax because the person who doesn't sharpen the ax, who has this dull ax, they're hitting this thing constantly. They're sweating, their hands are bleeding, they're exhausted and they're barely getting through any of the tree, it's taking them forever and they're exhausted. Whereas the person who spent the 40 minutes sharpening the saw, figuring out this reality, studying the laws, studying psychology, studying how this world works, then steps up to the tree and whoosh, starts knocking this tree down really quickly. And then they go on to the next tree and the next tree and the next tree. By the end of the, you know, by the end of the 60 minutes, this person has, you know, within 20 minutes hit down 
10, 15 trees, let's say, and the other person is still slugging away at the one tree with that dull ax. This is a metaphor to understand for life. If you're not studying these laws of the universe and you're not studying psychological laws and you're not really trying to decode this reality to put yourself at the cause, to put yourself at the higher levels of thinking so you automatically get the results that you want because you're aligning with how things actually work, then you're randomly stumbling through life like you have a dull ax with everything in life. Everything that you're doing, you are not optimized and you're not operating at your highest level. You're operating at a very low level and which means you're gonna to have to work really hard to get not very many results. So Marshall Silver would say th something which was, those that think govern those that labor. And this is at a very big truth that you can see around the world. Those that think at these higher levels can create businesses, can create missions, can, can do these things at a higher level of thinking, and then they can have other people working for them and doing a lot of the labor. And you want to avoid always just doing the labor in life because you haven't thought, you haven't optimized, you haven't put yourself in the cause of your thinking, so you end up just stumbling into jobs that you don't want and doing things that you don't want to do because you don't understand these laws in the first place. You can't set it up to what you truly want. When you start to understand these things, you realize, wait, I have this visualization, visualization process where I can look into the future five years, I can create the life that I want, then I can find out the steps that I need to take to get there. Then I can also become adaptable, so the steps aren't gonna work perfect, but I can optimize and adapt along the way, and then I can get to that result. I can create that life with my mind, with the way that I think. Whereas somebody who's in the mindset of not sharpening the ax, they just go get a job, and they work these labor jobs, and they just do anything just to make it by, just to make money, and then they wonder why they're constantly in these situations that they don't want to be in. And it's because they didn't take the time to sharpen their mind. Sharpen their mind to see what's going on around them. To start to understand at a higher level than just what they have been trained to believe is possible. From just this really low level of consciousness. They're constantly trying to upgrade their level of consciousness. Their ability to think about thinking about thinking. To learn how to learn how to learn to see how to see. Because you don't just see with your two eyes. If you close your eyes, you can see your past and you can see your future. That means you don't just see with your eyes. You don't just hear with your ears because if right now you were to close your mouth and say a word in your mind, you can hear without any sound vibration touching your ear. You heard with your mind. You know, you're seeing with a higher faculty that is not your eyes. You're hearing with something that's not your ears. You can speak without speaking. What is that voice? What is that sight? What are those ears? It's at a higher level of consciousness when you start to understand this. A different dimensional frequency. When you can start to grasp that you are not just what you think you are. You are not just the being that you are told that you are in the education system and throughout society, that you're way beyond that, you're more infinite than you can imagine, you're, you have more possibilities than you can ever imagine, that's when you really want to start to sharpen your axe. Because then you're like, wow, I can actually do anything within this reality. I can, I can have all the friends that I want, that I've ever wanted, I can become the type of person that I want, I can live the life I want, I can live where I want, I can do what I want with who I want, wherever I want, however much I want, while contributing to something bigger than myself within the world, when you have that understanding, you're like, I really need to start decoding this reality. I really have to start to be the cause. I need to start thinking about things that allow me to get the effects that I want. I know if I eat this food, I'm gonna get healthier. I know if I read this book, it's gonna feed my mind. I know if I hang out with these people, I'm automatically gonna become like those people. Uh, you start to put yourself in these environments and then over time you have this upward spiral of success. But the first step, is starting to change the way you think. And the first step within that is how do you sharpen the ax? How do you stop just going through life randomly with these humanistic traits that we have developed over thousands and thousands of years of evolution and all of the societal beliefs that have been forced onto us, which a lot of are not true. How can I start to erase some of those false beliefs that are holding me back how can I start to see some of the cognitive biases that I hold from my evolutionary psychology? And how can I start to see the laws, the true laws of the universe? Like Elon Musk says, most people learn from metaphor, story, and analogy. 
They never, they barely ever break things down to the basic level of physics of what is actually possible. So what they believe about the world is just stories that everyone else believes because Marshall Silver says it, reality is created by validation. The more people believe something in society, the more everyone else believes it, and then they call it a fact. A fact is not a fact just because everyone believes it. A fact is something that is not subjective. It's objective. A fact is something that just is where a belief between all of society is a bunch of people subjectively believing it and then they all believe it's true because everybody else believes it. You have to find out and decipher what are the uh, false truths and what are the real truths because then you can see beyond what most people see and you can decode the reality, you can decode yourself, you can figure out what you want, you can figure out what the cause is that you need to get the effect. You can do this in all areas and then you become this cause of your life in all these areas and you start to get the effect that you want in all these areas. Life becomes much, much easier this way because you're sharpening your ax in all these areas. So each area of your life, you're taking one shot at that tree and it's falling over and then another and then another while everyone else is whacking these trees with a dull ax their hands are bleeding, they're working too hard, they're stressed out, they're frustrated, they're wondering why nothing's working, and it's because they didn't take the time to sharpen their mind. So guys, I know this is a little bit of a rant all over the place, but if you can grasp these concepts and just start to shift your ways of thinking and shift yourself to sharpening your mind versus just going out and doing things random, you're gonna get some incredible results. You're gonna have the control you want, you're gonna attract the people you want, you're gonna achieve the things you want, you're gonna stop failing as much, like in all the areas, you're gonna stop being more invisible to people because you don't have this present consciousness and you're just gonna feel a lot more empowered to do the things that you want in this world. So go out, take action, start sharpening your mind, figure out what you want, go after it. It's there, it's yours for the taking, and you can really contribute some amazing things in this world. So guys, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you enjoy this content, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.